David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you a brand new pen from Visconti. Uh, a pen that I, when I first saw pictures of it, I'll admit that it didn't overly excite me. But did that opinion change once I had a chance to play around with it? I will let you know. Uh, the new Visconti I'm talking about is the latest addition to their Homo Sapiens lineup, and it is called the Magma. Uh, what I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Visconti Homo Sapiens Magma. I'll talk about what I care for and what I don't care for. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Uh, thanks go out to Visconti and their U.S. distributor Coles of London for providing this pen on loan for review. Uh, the pen arrives in this box. Now, this is the newer Visconti box uh, design, but I believe this red accent is unique to this specific model. And the reason will become obvious here in a second. The lid lifts off, and uh, there's even some additional red highlights under the uh, lid, which is nice. Uh, inside, there is a little bit of marketing information, and here we have the pen. This is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Magma. Now, Visconti has another Magma model in their lineup, but it's under the Manhattan line. Um, this is what that one looks like. Uh, I've yet to review this pen from my collection, but this is the Manhattan Magma compared to the Homo Sapiens Magma. This one's a little more orange, and this one obviously is a little more red. Uh, maybe one day they'll come out with an Opera Magma as well. Uh, the pen is made from a material which is 50% basaltic lava and 50% uh, resin. Uh, there are a couple of different kinds of lava, but uh, basaltic lava is kind of the red, bright, reddish-orange lava that you're used to seeing kind of spewing out of active volcanoes. Uh, the lava comes from Mount Etna in Italy. Uh, Mount Etna is actually located on the east coast of Sicily, right near the tip of Italy's boot. Uh, and then here's a look at the mountain in Google Earth. You can really see how the, the lava has flowed over the years. Uh, this unique material for this pen is slightly hygroscopic, um, which means that it can absorb things like oils or moisture from your hand or even ink. So when you're inking up this pen, you want to uh, wipe the section down rather quickly to avoid any permanent staining. Uh, now here's a close-up look at the material. You can really see the pitting which gives this pen a unique personality. I've noticed the texture can vary from pen to pen, while with some having more pronounced pitting and more grayish accents, uh, and I've seen others which are smoother as well. Now, the marketing material for this pen says that the material is flame-proof with resistance to heat over 100 degrees Celsius. Now, Maybe this statement could have been written just a little bit differently. Uh, the flame from a typical like lighter is just under 2000 degrees. And while yes, technically 2000 is over 100, uh, if it will truly resist damage under a flame, then you could up that number to say something like it's resistant up to 2000 degrees, which sounds a lot more impressive than 100. Now, admittedly, this is a very minor issue. Hopefully this uh, pen will never see a flame, uh, but uh, maybe, uh, maybe one day I can get my hand on a small piece of that scrap material to do a little field testing. That might be a fun little experiment to show. Uh, the marketing material also describes this material as being dense to the touch, and I agree with that. It has a very unique feeling in your hand. Um, it's a different tactile experience than any other pen I own. Uh, it has a warmth to it, uh, and it's not like a metal pen that starts cool and then warms up as you use it. Kind of the natural state of this material is a bit on the warm side. Uh, the distinguishing feature of this model is the red trim, which I th really think pops nicely against the black material. Uh, let's start by taking a look at the cap. On the end of the cap is a black ruthenium plated Visconti logo. Uh, this pen utilizes Visconti's MyPen system, where this piece is held on by a strong magnet. You can pick up a number of alternate inserts. Uh, I have some of the inserts, and we'll show you how this operates during the writing sample. 
Uh, then we have the traditional Visconti clip, which is inspired by the Ponte Vecchia Bridge in Florence, Italy, the home of Visconti. Uh, the company name is engraved in negative space. Uh, Visconti does a better job with this style of clip rather than their ones with the raised lettering and surrounded by lacquer, in my opinion. The lacquer on those clips has a tendency to get a bit sloppy around some of the letters. The lettering on this clip is very crisp and clean. We have two rounded bands. Then there is a rounded step down to the barrel where we have a band which on one side has the Visconti logo and on the other side it says Homo sapiens. The lettering is engraved rather deeply. It's not just surface engraving, which is nice. The barrel tapers down just slightly until you reach this red band, which separates the barrel from the power filling system. And then the end of the barrel is slightly rounded. Uh, in order to operate the cap, you don't just simply twist, it's more of a push twist. Uh, this pen utilizes Visconti's hook safe mechanism, which allows you to open the cap with a twist of about 20 degrees, which is unique, as opposed to having to spin it around multiple times. Um, while on this pen, the hook safe mechanism operates just fine, uh, the edges around the board out material is a little bit rough. It could have used some sanding or, or cleaning up a bit. Then, once you have the cap open, we have this nib. Uh, this is uh, Visconti's 23 karat Palladium Dream Touch nib with black ruthenium plating. It is available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and a stub. Uh, I'll show you the writing sample here in a little bit, uh, but I've really grown fond of this extra fine nib. It's not scratchy and lays down a really, really nice line. Um, I like the looks of this nib with the ruthenium plating. Uh, and then here's a look at the plastic feed. Uh, this pen is available in fountain, ballpoint, and rollerball versions. The section begins with this red ring, which I believe is a feature new to this model. I think it looks really nice. And the transition from metal to the lava is extremely smooth. Since I am typically holding my pen very close to the end of the section, it would have been very annoying if you could feel that transition, but I can't on this pen, which is a good thing. Um, I find the slightly concave section to be very comfortable. Um, it's not the longest of sections, but even if your grip rests on the hook safe threads, those are largely blocky and really don't impede my grip at all. Uh, the cap does post and it does post securely, but I do feel that having it on there back weights the pen and throws off the balance a little bit. So I prefer to use this pen unposted and unposted it's plenty long enough. Uh, this pen is a power filler, which is what Visconti calls their vacuum filling system. Uh, this pen is inked now, so I won't demonstrate it, but you unscrew the end here and then pull it back. And when you press down, it creates a vacuum inside the barrel. Once that vacuum is broken, then ink gets sucked up inside. It works really well and it has a decent ink capacity. Now, in the past, Visconti has developed a rather undesirable reputation for having some spotty quality control. And I have experienced these frustrations firsthand with pens that I've purchased and that I've had to immediately send back for repairs right out of the box. And that is not acceptable. Uh, I can't speak for other countries, but I have visited the Coles of London facility. They are the uh, distributor here in the United States. And over the last couple of years, they have really taken these issues to heart and made a concerted effort to perform additional quality assurance tests to assure that customers are receiving products that are the quality that they expect. Uh, and over that time, I've really witnessed a significant improvement in this regard. Uh, you really don't hear a lot about people uh, with recent poor purchasing experiences with Visconti. You might hear something from time to time. No company is ever perfect. Uh, and you might hear about poor buying experiences from a while back. But my point is that I believe that there has been some significant strides made to ensure that Visconti's customers are receiving the highest performing products possible. Because uh, when a Visconti works well, it really works well. And they produce some fantastic writing instruments. Uh, this Visconti Homo Sapiens Magma retails for $775. At authorized Visconti dealers, you will find it for about 20% less. Um, this model is priced identical to the other Lava Resin Homo Sapiens models, which is nice. 
Uh, thanks go out to Visconti and Coles of London for providing this pen on loan, uh, or what they thought was a loan for review. Um, I like this pen a great deal. Um, I like the way the red pops against the lava resin material. Um, I like the red ring at the end of the section, which is a new feature for this model. Um, I really like the looks of the black ruthenium plated palladium nib, and I'm really grown fond of this extra fine nib. So uh, this pen is not going back. I, I am actually going to be buying it. So, you know, you typically in my reviews, I lay out the fact and the, my opinion and let you decide whether a specific pen meets your tastes and needs. Uh, but when I'm willing to shell out my own money rather than returning a pen, then I think it's pretty obvious what I feel about this specific model. So yes, I feel that there is a lot to like about it. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Homo sapiens magma. Uh, and in regard to another Homo sapiens, uh, here it is with a Homo sapiens sterling silver model. Uh, you could see that the main difference here is that this is an older model that actually has a set of rings on the barrel. Uh, every once in a while, people ask me where you can get one of these. They are discontinued, but I will say that I did notice that there is an eBay seller right now who has one of these for sale at a fairly reasonable price. If you just searched for Homo sapiens sterling silver, uh, it's a, a reputable seller that I've actually purchased from previously, and there is one available, but they don't come up for sale that often. But I like them because they're kind of unique. Uh, here it looks uh, is with the Manhattan magma that I showed you earlier. Uh, and then here it is with an Opera Desert Springs. And in regard to some more Visconti pens, here it is with a Wall Street. Then here it is with an Opera Crystal. And then finally, here it is with a Davina. I mentioned I was going to show you how this my pen system worked, uh, and in order to do so, I have a magnet here. They actually sell some magnets that are used for this, but you could use any strong magnet. So if I just do that, you could see that it comes right out. Uh, and then I actually, I know they're very hard to see here, but I have two initials. One says D and one says P, uh, and that I can go ahead and just insert those right in there and they will stick. You gotta be careful because they're a little on the small side. So there. So now I have a DP on the end and they have other inserts with like jewels and uh, astrological signs and things like that. Uh, but then you have to make sure that you don't lose your original one if you want that put that eventually put that back. Okay, so let's have a writing sample and here we have the Visconti Homo sapiens. Magma. And this is an extra fine nib. And the ink that I'm using today is Visconti Green. Uh, this is what the ink looks like. Um, it's a nice kind of darker green uh, in comparison to something like the Irish green, which is a little bit lighter. Uh, it's uh, a little uh, kind of more on the blue side than something like the Noodler's Forest green, but uh, it's a nice solid green. Uh, I, you know what? I always show the bottle, but I don't show the packaging. This is the packaging that the Visconti inks come in. I just think it's a cool little uh, container. And then the bottle itself is cool as well. And I just think this is one of the cooler looking ink bottles. Uh, it's fairly deep, a wide cap, so you can get just about any nib in here. So it looks really nice. Uh, and so here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Uh, 
Um, I am really liking this extra fine nib. Uh, on my very first Homo sapiens I purchased, I actually purchased it with a fine nib uh, and that I, I really did not care for that nib. I found it to be extraordinarily scratchy, not tuned very well, and I just really didn't like it. And so I actually returned it and had them put a medium nib on it. Uh, and so when I first received this pen with an extra fine nib, I, I really didn't know how I was going to care for it. Uh, but this nib is fantastic. I, I I really love it. Um, I can't necessarily describe it as super smooth, but um, that it is not bitey or toothy by any means, uh, and it has a decent ink flow as well. In regard to reverse writing, I think it's only doing that because a little piece of paper got in there. Let's see if we can get that paper out. There we go. And in regard to some fast writing, With most extra fine nibs, uh, the, you know, it has a smaller sweet spot, uh, and when you're in that sweet spot, uh, it is fairly smooth and decent. It can get a little bit scratchy if you're out of that sweet spot, but overall, I'm really, really liking this nib. And the feed has had no issue in keeping up. I've had no issue with ink flow uh, with this extra fine line. So here we have the Homo sapiens uh, the, the Visconti Homo Sapiens Magma, uh, something that uh, really surprised me, and the more I played with it, the more I liked, uh, and like I said, uh, eventually I decided to actually just purchase this rather than sending this back, because I do like this one so much. So, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.